We are looking here at gold ruby glass. This is one of the most difficult colors to achieve in glass because it consists of gold that has been put into solution in the glass and then grows again during the heating and forming process into small particles that are called colloids. And these colloids have to have a very specific shape and also have a very specific equal direction within the glass in order to produce this ruby color. If these colloids don't have the right shape, or if they are too small, or if they have the wrong direction, then the glass will either stay colorless, or it will get a rather ugly livery color. The earliest specimen of the production of gold ruby glass can be seen as number 6 and 7 in this showcase, especially the big goblet with the putto in wine scrolls. Unfortunately, the foot and the cover is missing from this object, and as you can see, the surface is crizzling. Crizzling is a process of crystallization of the glass. It starts to show little fissures, the glass flakes, and if the conditions, especially the atmospheric conditions, are very bad, the glass will eventually just decompose. Crizzling was a general problem in the glass composition of this early stage of Baroque glassmaking, where the raw materials have been so much purified that certain vital ingredients were simply missing and since this was at a very early stage of chemistry, glassmakers were not immediately aware of what ingredients were essential to make a stable glass composition. The principle of coloring glass with gold was probably known since early antiquity. But Johann Kunkel was the first to achieve this delicate process of producing very large gold ruby glass vessels.